Hey guys, welcome to our mellow. So I picked, found this game on uh, sale on Steam. And I was like, I've been wanting to play it because I watched um, Spider Cat play it, and uh, finally able to actually have the money to play it. But I think I'm gonna start just see if I actually like it. Do a couple of playthroughs, see if you guys might like it. Didn't mean to click start or anything. Crap. Anyway, he talks about Akeem being corrupt and so on and so forth. Moonshine upon you, Thane. The elders grow restless. A dark scent taints the air. We suspect dark forces at work. We suspect the rot. A wolf clan knight awaits you by the gates of South Bank. He has reported evidence of rat clan activity. Perhaps they are behind the tank. We have sent a guide to lead you to the settlement. Though a talkative fellow, he's a seasoned explorer and will serve you well. May your blade strike true. Snow Strider Greymane, Den Mother. Okay, so I have never played this game before. I have no idea. I, I, I know it's just turn based. Hi, Thane. Hi. Did the Den Mother tell you about me? Did she? I know she did. I see her letter. Let's go. Yay. thereby traveling from tile to tile. Okay. South Bank is the northwest. It's to the northwest. It's a lovely trip. This is going to be great. So action points AP. You have three per turn. Use them to move between tiles. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Try to get to South Bank within two turns. So the the design. And how how the characters interact—it kind of reminds me of the old Robin Hood movie, the old Disney one. I used to watch the crap out of that movie when I was a kid. Let's see, Arrow, Stormfield, Plains. Whoa! Look at those mountains. I meant I've seen bigger, but wow, they'll take ages to cross. Mountain costs two AP to enter, but provide a defensive. Hit bonus. Okay. Force provides stealth at night. Stealth heroes cannot be seen. Can we rest? My feet hurt. Just letting you know, I'm not I'm not doing voices. I do it for my D and D groups, but I'm not gonna do a voice for every character. This is the end turn button. You can end your turn at any time. Okay. This is your body. It represents your maximum health. Okay. If you lose all your health, you will die, obviously, and be returned to your clan grounds. One of the settlement brings it under your control. Each settlement you control provides plus one gold income at dawn. By the way, I didn't pick the wolf. I know it's relative to my name, but I didn't pick the wolf. A robbed figure bursts from South Bank's gates. They hold a bloody knife. A squire is in pursuit. Thane, stop him! She cries. Congratulations, you have reached your first quest. In quest, you choose between a dangerous option for a bonus reward or playing it safe. Quest dangerous option test your body stat. Okay. You will gain plus one body from completing this body quest. Completing quests also rewards heroes with plus one prestige as their fame spreads across the kingdom. Your chance to succeed is based on the stat being tested plus 10% chance for each stat point. If you succeed the dangerous test, you'll gain the bonus reward. The penalty of failure is minus two health. Let's take the dangerous path and try for the squire. Chance reward, this is your chance of failure. Okay, so it's kind of like risk, in a way. This is what it makes me think of. Ooh. 
Success, your bonus reward is a follower. Ooh. Sit for the figure and block their clumsy strike. You grab their... Okay, yeah. You already discussed all this. You step before the figure and block their clumsy strike. You grab their pack before they flee. A journal of scribbled notes tumbles out. If only you'd got here sooner. That beast attacked while we waited for you. He killed my master. Misery. Tragedy. Whoa. How can I go on? Oh well. You looking for a squire? This guy could come in handy, Thane. Click here to open your inventory. Shelf. Drag the squire into the party slot. Okay, so I'm assuming he's in the blue. I have a new master. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Right after a nap. I need sleep. Of course you do. And my feet still hurt. music is gorgeous on this. It kind of reminds me of Dragon Age because it has that dark fantasy feel to it. <clears throat> Turns in a melo circle cycle from day to night. Okay. This is your gold. It is used to play item and trickery to out cards. You earn gold income from your clan and sell myths every dawn. Choose a quest. Let's get going. You should read through the journals you recovered. The denizens of Amelo will provide you with rumors. Often you will be able to choose between several of them. Rumors will lead the quest with a treasure poppet as the reward. This is your fight. It represents your prowess in battle. Okay. The quest will test your fight. Sir, I gathered up some of my master's supplies. I'm sure he'd want you to have them. For a price, of course. You should equip the sword and shield. They're sure to come in handy before we're done. Ooh, I like that. They even have the, um, the actual artist's name. I do like this, it's really whimsical. You can also equip items and recruit followers by dragging them from your hand to the inventory shelf while open. Oh! Perfect, let's go. We're crossing a swamp today. Tough walk. We might pick up a scratch or two. Ah, so optimistic. Sunken wetland. One health. Let's see. I'm have to go through it regardless. I also want to go around, but it'll be fine. Swamp still plus or minus one health upon entry. Cool, cool. Some circles are ancient sites imbued with wild power. They restore plus one health to those enter. Okay. That's convenient. <laughs> Got that plot armor. Remember this is the safer option in a quest. Playing this quest will still increase your fight by plus one. And plus one prestige is word of your deeds spread. This is the dangerous option which will test your fight. Your fight on... Your fight on a five gives you a 50% chance of success. I don't know if I can read. The reward is a treasure, the poppet, and the clue we seek. Well, of course, I'm going to do it. Cost of failure is minus one health. Okay. The circle is cluttered with symbols of dark power. In the center, frantically packing up, is the robbed is the robbed figure. He spots you, then sprints for the trees at the circle's edge. Of course, I'm going to chase it. All fours racing across the circle. At the last moment, the figure spins and slashes you across the face. You howl and he escapes. He got away and he took the poppet with him. 
See, I like that element though. That's really cool because, like it says, every encounter is random. Um, it was saying before, actually, before I started recording. But it's interesting because it allows for variant in play, and it is like unless you can keep up with that really fast turn, you're not gonna figure out what one is. It's kind of a guessing game, and I'm assuming that later when you're more leveled up, you'll have more um, more of your success tokens that you'll end up clicking. I'm assuming. I don't know. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm glad we didn't find it. I don't want anything to do with the rot. Let's set up camp. We can start trying to track him down tomorrow. Ooh. Thane of the Wolf Clan. Hand over the poppet or be slain by order of the king. This is crazy. We don't even have the poppet. Why are the king's guards attacking? We've done nothing wrong. This is madness. Okay, let's see. Remember the fight? Each point in it grants, you, grants a die in battle. Okay. That's where the risk fact, the, the game risk comes in, I guess, play, really. Dice and Armello have six unique symbols. A sword counts as one attack, yeah. Shield is defense. Sun counts attacks during the day and misses at night. Mm. And then moons are the opposite, okay. Wilds count as an attack, then explode, granting a bonus dice roll. Dice roll, okay. Finally, a rot counts as a miss. Okay, just letting you guys know my luck is terrible. I have the worst luck in the world. These are your opponent's stats. They work the same way as yours. Okay. At the start of the battle, both combatants show their re relevant items, followers, and abilities while their dice are locked in. The Wolf Clan's affinity is it is the night. They get plus one dice when facing challenges at night. Okay. Trust your shield grants plus one shield in battle, which will protect the Thane from one enemy attack. Shining Steel Sword grants you a plus one sword in battle. Okay. King's Guard carry Hare's Halberds, which reduce their opponent's battle dice. Okay. He has declared Thane a wanted criminal. King's Guard is attacking. Yeah, let me read that. Now. Did you see? We have a bounty now. The King's Guard will hunt us down. We need to figure out a plan. Fast. Within our mellow darkness, stirs for signs of brought have now returned. A hunted wolf forced to withdraw as rats slink in to find, slink in to find out more. I wonder if it's Armelio? Armelio? Or Armello? Like, is it Spanish? That's a lot. Dude. this. Great heroes carry the journey. This is what I was actually want to show you guys earlier. Great heroes carry the journey's burdens, not on their shoulders, but in their hearts. Pull that out of the way. Ah, oh, the artwork is gorgeous. Well, at least the style of it is.
So I'm assuming now I play as the mouse, a rat's tail, and Memorios, Mercurios's, Mercurios is what my God, Mercurios's story. Learn to play cards and navigate the perils of Armello. Spanish. Manipulating king's guards by issuing bounties can be a great way to impede other heroes. I'm really liking this game. It's really cool. I don't know, just artwork, music, everything about it is just really cool. Saints turn. Okay. Hell Mercurio. Mercurio. I don't know how to say that correctly. <laughs> My accent's way too southern for this. Hell Mercurio. Our ears within the royal palace hear of secret plans. Thane seems to think much of his abilities. He hunts for tools of the rot. The king's. The king has laid a trap for him. A bounty will be placed on his head. A bounty which we expect you to claim. Teach him the consequences of meddling with the rot. Then find those tools for yourself. Not to Fene, the spy master, awaits you within South Bank. Her skills will be of use to you. Good luck. Keep your blades sharp and your tongue sharper. Remember, destroy this letter. Vestian. Let's go. Time is money, Mer Mercurio. Of course, it's the creepy Cheshire cat. Cheshire cat. Remember to equip useful items for you to help you on your journey. Okay. Oh, this guy's a trickery card. These cards contain political plays, agents, traps, ruses, and more. You heard Festian. Let's go find the spy master. This is your wits, and this is your wits. It determines how many cards you can hold in your hand. Okay. This is a wit, a wits quest. Wait, I don't want to stop and rest without knowing where the Thane is lurking. Here, use this gold to hire rangers. Scout a around Dun Castle. That's where he was last seen. What if I don't want to hunt down the Thane? There. Thane's hiding in the woods. Don't worry. Come sunrise, the King's Guard will find him. Eagle flag indicates scout tiles. Scouting reveals stealth creatures. Okay. Death to the traitor. Oh no, I don't want to kill the Thane. Settlement of South Bank is in lockdown by order of the king. We're looking for accomplices. Thane has played a trickery card to this settlement as a peril. A peril is a trap. Enter the tile and you'll face its challenges. Fail and you'll trigger the card's effects. Okay. A peril. And sp spruce fail? What is Thane up to? No matter, forget the peril. Thane is exposed. Let's claim this that bounty. This is your prestige. It reflects your renown in the realm. Blah, blah blah. We'll gain prestige in the kingdom by claiming the bounty on Thane's head. I know a few crooks who will be happy to do our dirty work. 
Killing another hero awards you plus one prestige. Claiming bounties awards you with both with bonus prestige and gold based on how wanted they are. You can play cards to other creatures just like you play disguise to yourself. Done. That's gold in our pockets, prestige in your name. I don't want to kill the thing. <laughs> now let's deal with the spy master. We'll need to lift the lockdown. Don't attack the king's guard. We'll end up with a bounty too. Instead, let's organize some false orders. That bounty got you some gold, which will let us contact some serious underworld figures. The city is bustling. You enter the tavern and glance around. There are many faces, but none you've seen before. No Spidemaster. Whistle a Rat Clan tune. There we go. I actually followed that one that time. Borderline, at least. You pick an obscure song, one you'd only know if you were listening for it. It takes just a few notes before the spy master sits next to you. Information comes at a cost, Mercurio. Like the artwork. Thane's heading to the mountains. Hmm, this could complicate things. Give me some time to speak to my contacts. Rest a while. Thane's back at his clan grounds. He'll, he's still heading towards the Winterhorn Mountains. When a hero dies, their turn ends. They lose one prestige and return to their clan grounds. I'm inclined to interfere with his plans, but we can, can't affect him while he's moving. That's no problem. We simply act where we know he'll be. Hire some mercenaries to lie on wait in Fleetwood Hills. That'll cut him off from the mountains. Well done, that slowed him down. Choose a quest. My master has tracked the stolen rot tool to the Winterhorn Mountains. One of her sources in the city knows the peaks well. Here's the tragedy's card. Use it to help us get to Spruce Vale faster. Play the creature plus one action point. Instant trickery card. This is the card's effect, yeah. Cost, yeah. This is the card's Amelo symbol. Let's just give you a bit more gold so that you can play strategist. Okay. Now we can reach Spruceville without needing to stop and rest. Remember, we'll have to face Thane's peril when we enter Sprucefell, but there's no other option. Play it to see, okay. The Rat Clan's affinity is the Knight. They get plus one dice roll when facing challenges at night, okay, so, so does the Wolf Clan. Let's see. Adventurer's Kit. The Adventurer's Kit provides plus one bonus to die in perils. Now roll your die. I know I don't have to do this, but I know I have to shake it, but I like to. Thane stole your adventurer's kit. I had my lunch in there. Having more than one settlement further increases your gold income and provides a gold discount to trickery cards. City curfews in effect at nightfall. The contract's house is across the street, but a king's guard is patrolling in front of it.
Huh. Shadow in the moonlight, he doesn't see you sneak by. Close enough to touch. Contact a miner. Smiles and lets you in. We have information. Now we plan our next move. By the wild, that was a lightning strike spell. Why would the kings attack the prince of the wolf clan? Quick, we need to report back. With the king acting so strange, we must tread very carefully. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to like and subscribe. You know, I don't I don't like doing that, but um, I'll do that. I'll just see you in the next video. Thanks.